Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, July 15, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you can hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, we have rallied a little bit today. We did fall all the way down to 31k, 31.5k. And um, yes, this is just drifting lower, even though we have a minor pullback today. Uh, there's just not that momentum here uh, that we saw back in the days, only a few, mo few months ago, to be fairly honest. So every time it fell significantly, there was major buy-ins. We saw it here, we saw it here, and then it continued all the way up to 64k, and then this just fell apart. So the if there is news, it's usually just bad news about this market, and that is not helping whatsoever. So the hype that was driving this market is uh, nearly completely gone at this point. You can see that MACD is about to cross the second line, indicating bearish momentum. Stochastic is bearish, and RSI is flat. Still a lot of room to the downside. If 30k uh, breaks, then we are going to visit 28k, 25k, and probably 20k. And after that, this will drop substantially lower to the downside in order to go back towards the old time highs then we have to basically break above the 200 moving average and that looks very 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 far off we have a crossing here of the 50 and the 200 last time we did this cross we have to go all the way back here and then we had this rally so this may take a massive a long basically a long time probably one or two years before we ever go crossing back um, these two will cross again. So let's look at Ethereum. So this has, um, it fell down towards 1850, give or take, and then it rallied a little bit. We're still underneath the 200 moving average. We have the 20 exponential moving this way, 50 moving this way. It will probably be in the uh, next uh, two to three weeks, and we'll have a crossing between the 50 and the 200. And then this will most likely drop all the way down to the 300 moving average at 1500 and probably after that to 1000. If Bitcoin drops, which is looking very likely at this point, then it will drag the entire market with it. So, so this has basically the same, um, same trend as Bitcoin and uh, most other cryptocurrency will um, as well have the same trend. So... We'll, we have found uh, support down here at roughly um, 1700 and then the 300 moving average will come into play around 1500. You'll see the MACD is crossing the signal line indicating bearish momentum, stochastic is bearish and so is the RSI. So yes, people are not buying the dips at this current stage. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano, very similar, we broke down towards uh, 11 40 40 uh, 40 uh, 84 sorry and then rallied a little bit so we are up just a bit but we have the 20 exponential just above and that has acted as major resistant in the past 200 moving average will mostly be tested uh, sometimes this week or probably in the weekend and that is roughly at one dollar break below that then we we'll head towards 1.09 dollars We'll head towards the one dollar and then all, all the way down to the 300 moving average at 0 0.77 technical indicators are all very bearish at this current stage so let's look at litecoin so litecoin did also fall down towards roughly 120 and then it rallied and now we're trading at 130. Uh, MACD is bullish in in, in litecoin stochastic is crossing the signal line so we may see this rally up towards the 20 300 or the th or the 50 moving average but it's not expected to go all the way down up towards the 200 moving average it will still follow the trend of for example bitcoin if that uh, st starts dropping and this drops very quickly to 100 and then probably the 50 and then lower than that we have a crossing gear of the 15 and 200 and uh, that usually means that we have a long uh, term um, going to see this drag out we will eventually see rallies but they will probably be sold into so let's look at neo so very similar to uh, to litecoin we did drop 
down to $30 and now we're at $32. Middle of the bullish band is offering uh, resistance. So will the 20 exponential and, the, and well, will the 300 moving average. MACD is bullish at this point. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is flat. So break below this candlestick here, which is at 25, that opens the door to 20 and then significantly lower than that. So Dogecoin. So Dogecoin is approaching the 200 moving average. We could see this a bounce, uh, a bounce off the 200 moving average when we get to that point up towards the 20 exponential. So that's roughly at 0 0.17 up towards uh, 0 0.22. If you look at technical indicators, they are all uh, MACD is flat, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So break below the 200 moving average, that opens the door to the 300 at 0 0.11. And yes, momentum has completely vanished for this uh, cryptocurrency. And uh, it's probably just a matter of time before we break below the 200 and get head towards the 300 moving average. So... Hope you find this helpful. You all want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.